Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had the Party Bag SBC yesterday inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, and it definitely caused the market to drop. So we're going to talk about that, the new summer. I keep saying summer showdown, man. It's not summer showdown. It's ingrained in my head to say summer showdown. The first showdown SBCs of FIFA 21. This is not summer. This is exactly the opposite, at least in my side of the hemisphere. But... The first showdown SBCs are out, and it is Sevilla versus Villarreal. This game takes place on December 29th, so we're going to talk about these two SBCs right here and the new way they're doing showdowns this year. But of course, we are talking about this SBC today and the movements that it caused on the market because everybody is doing this SBC, man, because EA priced it at a price point where it is definitely... Doable, it can be worth the gamble, and a lot of people are taking that gamble. I myself it's, are probably gonna, I'm probably gonna do this SBC at some point in the next two days before it goes away, just because there's a chance of something cool, right? And it's very easy to craft, it's a very low rate squad, and it's coming in at a price point that a lot of people are interested in doing it and taking a chance on it. And that, of course, is making the market move as well. This SBC right here has made the market move. So I want to talk about what happened yesterday on Saturday. We, I think we kind of nailed it, boys. What I said on Friday about the um, potential for this foot freeze party bag to come out, there to be panic selling, and then a bit of a rebound, but a bit less of a rebound than I think you would see on a normal day. Because as we take a look at the market right now, late on this Saturday night into Sunday time frame, stuff is really, really dropping back down. Neymar, the main man, right? This guy was 700 before the SBC today, 770,000 coins, 600K on the Xbox, dropped down barely on the Xbox. He's down to 588 now. But on the PlayStation, he dropped from 770 down to 738,000 coins. He then rebounded all the way back to 760 and is now continuing to drop. And that is exactly what I talked about yesterday. I said that I was expecting some panic selling on a lot of these cards, whether it's in packs, out of packs, whatever. And then a small rebound, but not a crazy one. And that is exactly what happened with a lot of these cards today. Now check out this um, Freeze St. Maximum, who is a million coins, 879 on the Xbox. This guy was 1.1 million coins, 893. There's a lot more movements on the PlayStation today. Just because the PlayStation has so many more users, and honestly, it, it seems to me a lot more casual users or uh, I guess just a lot more panic sellers because you had this Gucci headband go from 1.1 mil down to 1 mil flat right before the content drop and then it rebounded back to 1.1. But as you can see right now, he is almost back down to a million coins flat on the market and that is kind of what has happened today, right? You saw panic selling, the SBC came out, you saw a bit of a rebound on some stuff and now it is coming back down and it's full-fledged weekend league sell-off. And that's one of the things I want to talk about today is, again, with this stuff that, that did rebound a little bit, but then is now down even lower, a lot of stuff that is getting absolutely thrashed right now is gold cards. Golds are getting mudded. Now, this is something that we've been expecting, right? We know, we knew that this was going to happen. We kept saying it over and over and over, but it's also, it, it's just different when it, it hits different, right? It hits different when it actually happens. Marcus Rashford was 120,000 coins before Weekend League Rewards this week. He is now 95k. Furland Mendy is 30 thousand coins again we looked at that Neymar who was almost 800k earlier this past week is now down to 720k probably goes a little bit lower after this weekend Cristiano Ronaldo was like 1.2 million coins in the not so recent past and is right now under 1.1 mil this guy's dropped off a ton kind of crazy if the only Ronaldo's under 1.1 uh well at least the three cheapest Ronaldo's are the blue versions interesting but uh, you know, you have gold cards. Let's take a look at this popular page once again. You have these gold cards that are getting absolutely destroyed. Conte's 256, he was 280. Salah's 240, he was 270. Pogba was like 130, he's 116. Uh, so a lot of these cards are really... Mane is 208, that's crazy, man. Mane is 208, he was like 230. Uh, you're seeing a lot of these cards take a big, big hit in price. Now again, it is Sunday, right? And what happens on Sunday night? What you often see on Sunday night is a rebound after squad battle rewards and into the week. 
I think that's no different this week, right? Joe Gomez, Ferland Mendy, Marcus Rashford, um, some of these really meta gold cards, and especially some of the out of packs cards uh, that are still new to the game. Uh, foot freeze items. These guys are rare, bro. Bernardo Silva, 608. This Verratti was 120. He bounced back to 130. Now is back down. Uh, Mane was 2.2 mil. He's now 2.05. Hazard's about the same. Martinez is about the same. Um, Chiellini is down low. Of course, these guys down here are, are in packs still. Um, but these guys are, are going to get low tonight as well and probably bounce back into the week, right? St. Maximin and Dembele. Even Chiellini are two or three guys that I would say a lot of people in this game of FIFA are interested in trying out and they're interested in playing with and squad battle rewards is always like a low time for those types of players inform pogba 374 that keeps dropping because the road to the final pogba keeps getting lower 500k for this card that's crazy that is crazy so i would expect a lot of these cards to get low tonight on sunday or on the squad battle rewards time frame early monday morning so if you see stuff that is low don't hesitate to pull the trigger because there is going to be a rebound on, on a lot of this stuff, especially on the, the low tier stuff, right? This is a guy, and I want to talk about this because this price is down, in my opinion, because of the SBC, the party bag today. Now, I have not really watched videos and seen like what the most common players to pack out of this SBC were, but it's a 72K SBC, and you get once to watch rule breakers, road to the final, record breaker, team of the group stage, or foot freeze. And in my opinion, probably a lot of people were packing this Pepe card. His gold card early game had very high pack weight, and this card had a massive rewards after uh, a massive rise after week in the rewards this past week. He went from the low 40s all the way up to the mid to high 50s, and he was 57,000 coins on both consoles. Both consoles, 57k today. The SBC came out. He dropped down to 46,000 coins. He's even lower than that right now. 43k, I think, is what he was like an hour ago. 46, it says, but I definitely saw him at 43k. I honestly think that this Pepe card is a card that I want to watch this week because, number one, a lot of new guys got on the game, right? A lot of, a lot of new players in FIFA 21. They got Ultimate Team. They got the game for Christmas, and they're getting on the game for the first time. This is a perfect card. A lot of people would go out and buy for a starter squad. 40,000 coins for an attacker with 91 pace and a pretty well-known player. Arsenal played well yesterday as well, beating Chelsea. So we're feeling good about that. Arsenal fans might want to use their own Nicolas Pepe, right? So I like this card for that reason and the fact that it went up a lot last week. But I'm wondering if this take, took such a big hit today. If you combine the weekend league sell-off happening with the fact that this guy probably got packed on tradable from a decent amount of those party bag packs. So uh, since he was such low rated, now I would have thought the same for Diago Jota. And I don't think he's really down that much from where he was. I could be wrong. He was 70,000 coins. He went down to 59. He's back up to 63. So again, there again, I actually was that. That's the same thought process as Jota. He went down 10K because this is probably a card that got packed a decent amount. Very low rated uh, from that the, the set that could have been packed from the freeze party bag. So that's why I think some of these guys went down. I still think they rebound though into the week. I still think that a lot of those cards that are very meta, I think they rebound into the week. So just keep an eye out for stuff, you know, rule breakers that got panic sold today. These guys are so stinking rare, man. These guys are so rare. Pug or Lukaku is down a lot. Podence is down a lot right now. Podence was probably packed a decent amount today. That might be why he's down. Kane is 115. That is low. Andre and Kamara, dude, I know. I know for a fact that these cards had to have been packed a lot today. These guys exploded this week. We talked about French links for weekend league rewards investing this week. These guys both went from the low 40s all the way up to 70,000 coins on both consoles. He, they were both 70K today. He's dropped down about 15,000 coins almost. And I think that's because a lot of people packed this guy from that party bag SBC as well. 83 rated. A low rated card. Same thing with Kamara down about 15K as well. I think the reason why you saw these guys drop so much is because number one, they were packed a lot. And number two, weekend league sell off. Same thing with Dumfries, right? I believe Dunzel Dumfries it had a price range. He was extinct at 32K for forever. They updated him. He went up to high, he went higher than that. And now they reset his price at 32K and he's still on the market for 30K because 
in my opinion. That's because the SBC today gave out so many of these low rated cards uh, from the party bag SBC. So that's why um, if you're, I guess, looking for some cards that could rise into the week, it's got to be a really meta card like a Jota or like a Pepe or you go for somebody that was a little bit higher rated that maybe wasn't packed from that SBC or it's just a team of the week card that is low. Uh, this Griezmann card, I know he did not do very well as a Thursday flip this week. You know, we, a lot of people lost coins on him, but this Rafinha card, I think was like 120 or 130. Not quite one. He was 120 for sure this morning. Yeah, 120, and he's down to about 110, but he was 108 earlier. A card like this, right? Not as many people are trading with these earlier informs. I made a lot of coins this past week, and I actually still have it on my transfer list. I made a lot of coins flipping older Premier League informs that are on the lower tier because, again, with these new people coming onto the game, this, these are the kind of cards they're looking at. Watkins at 57K. I bought all these at 50 these Zahas at rewards, I bought them at 125 to 130. He went up to 143, 144. So cards like that, Rafinha would fit into this category perfectly, in my opinion, is you take a look at a guy like this, you know, and not too many people are looking at this guy. In all honesty, people wanted to look at the more hyped up cards, the new freeze items and stuff like that. Watch the panic selling on guys like this. You probably will be able to snag this Rafinha card for 100,000 coins or less on the PlayStation at some point today, whether it's on bid, whether it's on snipe, and that is gonna be a very easy quick turnaround for profit, a pacey, fast, right mid that is Brazilian in the prem with a sick dynamic image. So just kind of watch out for that sort of stuff today on Sunday and, and into Monday morning uh, as we watch the market get really low. Um, and of course, it's not like this party bag SBC is repeatable. We're in a stage of FIFA where everybody is waiting for um, team of the year. Everybody's kind of waiting for team of the year right now. We have a lot of content that is out. Woo, voice crack. That was bad. We have a lot of content that is out, but uh, in, in two days, as this stuff is here, it all kind of goes away, right? As we get to Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK, it's kind of all going away and uh, we're going to be left with not a whole lot. So it's still kind of like a coin drain time on FIFA though, because the SBC fodder is high. There's so many SBCs that are out, the party bag, the, the uh, freeze players. We have some actually decent player of the months out right now, like the 86 plus upgrade, all of this sort of stuff. There's a lot of SBCs out that are just sucking coins off the game and it's making people, uh, you know, less rich. They're, they're losing coins on the week right now inside of FIFA. And that is why you're seeing a lot of the market drop off as well. So the last thing I want to talk about today is these new summer showdown SBCs. I do want to cover this and kind of give my input and info on this since the first time that we have seen this in FIFA 21. This past summer's celebrated showdown SBCs return now in FIFA 21. And of course, EA have to make it worse than they did last year. The winning player's item gets a plus two overall boost and a plus one in the event of a draw. So last year, what it was, was a plus three in the event of a win and a plus one in the event of a draw. Now, obviously you can say, yo, like this is five months earlier than they did this last year. They can't make that many OP cards right now at this stage of the game. You have a point in saying that, but I just wish they would have gone all out with the juice and give them, given them still a plus three if they were going to win. These are the two cards that are a question. Francis Coquelin, three-star, three-star, center mid, CDM, French, that is in La Liga, big time links right here and EA knows it, right? The French links, the La Liga links, linking to like Usman Dembele, Lengle, Berlin Mendy, all of those guys that everybody loves to use and EA is gonna make you pay a pretty penny for this. Now, you don't have a lot of time to do this SBC or the Acuna SBC. Now, this card could be cracked. If Sevilla win this game, this guy's card is going to be crazy. A plus two, going to an 88 overall. He's going to have over 90 pace, over 90 dribbling. And I don't even know if I would use this guy left back. I feel like I'd want to use him as a center mid. Um, I know we say that a lot of, about a lot of cards in this game, but this guy's card would be ridiculous. Ridiculous if he gets the plus two. And I think that's what a lot of people are talking about today. Now let's take a look at the matchup real quick, right? Sevilla and Villarreal play on Tuesday, the 29th of December. They are both towards the top of the table. One thing I'm noticing, I don't watch a lot of La Liga, but check this out. 
Check this out. Villarreal has six wins, eight draws, only one loss. Them and Atletico Madrid are the only one loss teams in La Liga so far this year. That's cracked. That's crazy. Only one loss. They're pulling out the draws and they still have six wins. Now, Sevilla has got seven wins, two draws, four losses, and they don't score a lot of goals, but they also don't give up very many goals. So I find that very interesting in this matchup. Now, if you're running a La Liga side, I think that if you're going to do an SBC, I feel like you might want to take the gamble on Acuna. And since these SBCs expire so quick, I believe they expire on, um, they might be on Monday, either, mo yeah, one day, 12 hours. So these expire on Monday at 6 p.m. UK, like ba basically a full day before the game is actually played. So again, you're not going to be able to wait and see who's playing and how they're playing. You're going to have to do the SBC beforehand to get it done. But if you're going to take the gamble on any of these, I think you take the gamble on Acuna because in the end, you're not overpaying for that. You're not overpaying too much for what this card is. It is an 86 rated uh, player left back in La Liga if you're going to be using him for your team. I feel like that price at 167K, even if they do lose, you're not going to feel as bad about it as you do if you do Coughlin for 250K and you get those stats. Obviously, it's not a bad looking card, right? This guy looks really good. Medium high work rates, five foot nine. He's kind of like Conte-ish since he's short. That's what we always say for the short center mid CDMs. But this Acuna guy, man, this guy has a history in FIFA. High, high work rates, four star skills. The, uh, of course, five foot eight as well, kind of short. But this guy with a plus two, I think it has me and everybody else in this game literally salivating, man, because this card could be dope with the plus two. So I think I'm rooting for Sevilla. All my guys that have rode to the final Kunde are rooting for Sevilla as well because they're probably doing this SBC. Again, you can probably craft this, this SBC for not too crazy amount of money right now because we do have these upgrade SBCs that are out. And if that is something you do want to do, like the 81 to 87 or the 81 double, um, you can definitely craft some of those SBCs right now. And of course have a chance at packing some cool stuff. So again, right now it's a very interesting time in the game because foot freeze is going on. It's like, we're all waiting for team of the year. New people are coming on the game. The market's crashing. And, uh, we have these party bag SBCs that people go crazy for. Last thing I haven't talked about SBC fodder in its entirety just yet. I want to mention that. Now, of course, we said, even though the 86s were looking high yesterday, right? They were looking high. I knew they would go higher. All the 86s are at 24,000 coins. They were even higher than this, I think, when the SBC first came out. 84s went from 4K to 7K plus. 85s went from like 9, 10,000 coins to 15K plus. Huge rises today on some of the SBC fodder. And it's just because the impact of what an SBC like that does to this game. People love the chance at packing somebody like Mbappe record breaker, like Messi team of the group stage. You know, they love the chance at packing any of those players. But of course, you know what they get in the end. They're getting somebody uh, that they really don't want. Maybe they're getting a road to the final like uh, Kubo, you know, like or Tadic or uh, Icardi. You know, those are the players you really don't want from that SBC, but those are the players a lot of people get. So I'm not open my party bag yet. I'm going to save that for the stream later today on Sunday. Uh, if you guys still have those, feel free to send them through, but I will be opening that today on the stream. Should be a good one, boys. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.